Hi everyone! So today's video is going to be on my gerbil treats and I'm going to show you all the treats I currently have for the gerbils and show you how I kind of keep them all and I do have quite a lot of treats but it's probably about half of what I used to own. I did scrap most treats recently and replace them with healthier ones but one basic reason why I've got a lot of treats is because they don't really have treats that often. I probably give them one treat a month or every now and then they'll get one every two weeks but that's kind of rare so they kind of end up building up and things but I like I said I have half them but this still seems like quite a lot especially because I've moved the kind of storage and changed it all now it looks even more so anyway I'll show you everything I've got and I'll talk you through my organization so obviously the first kind of thing I'd keep most of my treats in is this kind of storage tub. I really like it and it works really well to store the treats. So it's just like a little box. And in here, in the top level, I've got their healthy treats. And to be honest, most of their treats are in here. Whereas the other things I'll show you in a minute are kind of just things that I either didn't, I couldn't put in this section or they didn't fit in the top section or... I've just got extra of or something like that so in the top section here as you can see there I've just got some peas some dry banana some papaya mealworms and some pumpkin seeds then over on the other side just here we've got some plain kind of cornflakes I guess you could call them We've got some coconut kills that you can't really see, but I'll show you in a minute. We've got some pineapple, dried tomato and dried carrot. And then if I just lift this out, you can kind of see the coconut a little bit clearer there. But these kind of little top sections lift in and out, which is really useful and works really well to store everything. So I take these out. This is where I keep kind of these store-bought treats that I kind of class as unhealthy. They literally don't get these very often. They get them maybe every few months. Apart from things like this, I might give them this every now and then to have a chew on. You know, the kind of things that have protein. So in here, I've got a real mixture. I've got things like cheese wedges and the bonios. I've cut them in half because they're slightly too big on their own some rollinis, uh, we've got some of the ravioli things, some pedigree markies, um, I think these are barley rings, we've got some monkey nuts and there's some, I don't know what these are, I think these are from the pick and mix range at Pets at Home, just bits and bobs, there's some cookies in here too. And they've had they've had these since I had them, which explains a lot. So I'll probably have to scrap them soon. And just bits and bobs, really. I can't find everything. There's some buttons in here. I don't know what else to call these. Um, berry flavored ones, and I think the this one's carrot. And I think that's a about it you kind of get the idea some different things in here but I basically decided to just put them all into this tub to kind of just put them together because I know they're all store but treats it's easy for me to root one out if I want to give them one and it keeps them neat and tidy and because they're all store but treats I know that I can just go here for whichever one I want rather than looking through different jars and things so it just works out really well and I really like this form of storage of the treats and preferably I would like to just have this many treats and get rid of the ones I'm going to show you now but I do use the other ones it's just that I would like to kind of contain everything in this kind of tub so anyway this is my first kind of storage tub okay so all of these are the rest of their treats and what's kind of left but as you can see it's kind of messy having things in different things like this so as I was saying I would rather them have everything contained in that tub but basically in these all I've got is in this kind of little tin I've got a big selection of different smaller dog treats. These I give them, if, if I was giving them a treat and I was deciding on these I would give them maybe one every two weeks because they are good for protein. So when I was talking before and I said there's certain treats that I would give them every couple of weeks then it'd be something like this. So in here I've just got some cheesy bites. 
I've got some of the Dreamies, a few different flavours in there and various different dog treats, kind of small little ones that they like and enjoy that I really don't know the name of and there's another type there but there's, because they're made for dogs and cats you get a lot in a packet so these will last forever but in terms of gerbils it's a it's good buying dog treats because they do last a long long time and you're not going to run out anytime soon then in here i've just got my treat mix that i bought from rat rations so that just looks like that so it's a nice good treat mix that they do enjoy having every now and then i just keep that in this kind of sweet tub then here i've just got some millet that i've cut up because it can be a bit of a pain in the strands and i think they're a bit too big for them anyway i like to feed them in smaller portions but then again things like this can't really go into the bottom of the tub because they'd get kind of too mixed in and squashed then just here we've got some treats from rat rations again which i could probably put in the bottom of the tub I haven't tried these yet with the gerbils, but they're just like little carrot flavoured and beetroot flavoured too, I think, treats. I just keep them in this little tub. Then I've got some spare barley rings just here. I've got loads of these because the smallest packet of rat rations is still a fairly good amount. So I've got lots of those. And then I've just got my egg biscuit here which they really enjoy but again it's a big portion and they probably will never ever get through that because they only sprinkle it on their food every now and then but again it make, it puts a good variety into their food and then lastly is just my own treat mix that I mixed up for them when I first got them and that just looks like that and that's got kind of oats, sunflower seeds, soup and broth mix, uh, budgie trill, um, there's lots of different things there's some peas in there different things you can kind of see the variety in there so that's pretty much everything so those are all my treats as you can see and i do have a fairly big amount of different treats and i'm i would really like to get rid of quite a few again but there you go the gerbils do enjoy all of them though from when they when they get them so i hate to just throw things out that i know they like but i hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye everyone